Did you watch the 36 Chambers of Shaolin last night? Yeah, I watched it last night. I love that movie. Yeah! There you go. Hey, a kung fu master is always on alert. Hey. Al. Jeffito, you have just entered the 36 Chamber. Thank you, Sensei. Oh, I got a loaded weapon. Oh, I'd slap that out of your hand before you even knew it. You better be glad out of reflex I didn't just go payout. No, payout. I'd have caught the bullets and threw them out of the way. <laughs> I'm a kung fu master, son. Yeah. Where exactly is the 36th chamber? That's outside Dallas. Huh. Look at this. Wow. Tree fell. What are the odds of that? That tree fell right where I sit. Boys, I was almost a goner. Huh? Yeah. I'd be just like a pancake, boys. Whew, that'd be one tough pancake. <laughs> <laughs> These boys don't understand. When I seen that crushed duck blind, I saw my whole life flash before my very eyes. That ain't a life and matter. I'm serious. <laughs> no, I mean. From the time I was a itty bitty baby to present time. That quick, if the tree fell and you ain't there to see it, I almost died. That don't make sense. It's one of them a pair of dockers. A pair of what? I heard dockers. I thought you hated dockers. Look, I'm trying to make a point here. I could have been dead. Look, I'm no spring chicken anymore. Say, you never thought about dying before? No, what are you talking about? I'm more like a fall chicken. You had a heart attack. So? You went to Nam. So? And you're approaching 70. So? Hey, and winter is coming. Look, before you know it, I might even be a fried chicken. Si, you probably would have lived over there. Si! I ain't feeling too good, boys. Hey, I'm gonna try to take a nap or something. I don't know if I can, though. I got a lot on my mind. He must be really messed up in the head if he can't take a nap. He's acting more weird than normal. And that's saying something. He's finally exited the 36th chamber. That don't make sense. You don't make sense. You put bullets in chambers. Have y'all seen that app that um, tells you how good you sleep at night? Do what? I have an app for that. Listen, this is Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> how was that? She snored. That's a full-blown man yeah. snore there. Because she kept saying, no, I do not. No, I do not. And I was like, yes, you do. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you who can snore. Sigh. No, I don't think so. Oh. And it's never the same. <laughs> no. Beavers and duck. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, like, realizes he's not breathing. He's like... <laughs> Every day for Sigh is a near-death experience. Look, it ain't funny since I had a brush with death. Sigh, are you still worried about that tree? You wasn't even there when it fell. Yeah, but if I'd have been sitting there, I'd have been crushed to death. Well, it only missed you by 20 miles. When you have a brush with death, Okay. I was in a coma for five days. It kind of makes you think about things, okay? Five days. On death's door. Moving along. I got to thinking about all the things I want to do. Bucket list. Here we go. So I made my dream list. Bucket list. Okay, because look, time's running out. You made a bucket list. You put all the stuff in the bucket? Hey, you idiot. Ain't no bucket. All right. Knucklehead. Well, I ain't no well, reason to yell at him. All right, let's hear it. Look, there are plenty of people in this world who could use a good jump start in their life. Size not one of them. First thing I want to do, be voted most valuable player in the Little League World Series. <laughs> <laughs> You're 70 you years mad? old. That was not funny. He's been seizing the day ever since I've known him. Oh, here's a good one. Date with Wonder Woman. Good grief. Drive a race car, judge a Miss America contest, play fetch with everybody. No, he's not real. Ride a board for eight seconds. You're gonna die. Become a world famous doctor. Like George Clinton. What? Here's a biggie. Cure hemorrhoids. Eat at a hibachi restaurant. So far, you got one that we can do. OK. We're talking about a man who makes napalm in his kitchen sink for funsies. Then, 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 pick up Madison and grab cheetah. Oh, forget grease. Oh, what? That's my grocery list for Christine. I got to grab her some Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> 
I wouldn't normally entertain insanity, but Cy's gonna do this bucket list, and we're gonna have to watch over him and make sure that somebody doesn't get hurt. And by somebody, I mean Cy. Fly in a balloon chair. Balloon chair? Yeah, like in the movie, UP. Up. You mean the movie Up. It's not like E.T. I kind of like the hibachi grill idea. I'll go with him, man. There is a hibachi restaurant a mile down the road. What, here in Monroe? Yeah. yeah. That's good, too. I'd say we go to the hibachi tomorrow and figure the rest out later. I like that guy that he comes out there and... Ha! Hibachi! And you just cut off Jeff's bun. Dude. How awesome is this? No. Man buns. John Lee, what's the score? Dad with $15, Kay with $8, Al with $12, and me with $6. Why are we scoring Scrabble in dollars anyway? It's a motivational tactic. With John Luke's graduation right around the corner, I figured it would be a good time to teach him some life lessons before he heads off to college. The bigger the words, the more the money. Big words, big money. First lesson, big words will make you sound intelligent. This, boys, is how you play the game. $28. And that would be farts. No, you oh, wouldn't God. let me use bathroom words. But fart jokes will make you hilarious. OK, you ready? Dun, 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 dun. Can you make a drum roll? OK, just put the word down. You're going to love it. Somewhere I've never been, but I might go one day. Here we go. What is that? Toronto. OK, that's Taranta. <laughs> oh, Taranta. It's a city in Canada. You can't play that, Kay. We gotta make you take that off. Well, I think I should have consideration for my age. You have consideration because you never graduated high school. That is a lie. No, Kay didn't graduate high school. She most certainly did. Do you have a diploma? What's a big deal about a piece of paper? Well, if you get that degree, then I'll believe you. I'll prove it to you. We'll go to my school tomorrow. Let's go try to find it. John Luke, it ain't there. <laughs> These boys think I was a high school dropout just because I was absent during my graduation. I was a bearcat, man. Where was your high school? Narnia? <laughs> Back then, I was too busy taking care of baby Allen to worry about my high school graduation. I want to see some of my old teachers anyway. Some of your old teachers, Kay? Yeah. Want to stop by the cemetery? It's <laughs> like 50 years ago, Mom. Well, people teach a long time. Not that long. <laughs> But I know I have a diploma out there. And once I find it, I'm going to smack these boys over the head with it. OK, are you going to play another word or not? Are you ready for me to play? This game's gone to crap. <laughs> John Lee, if my mom K beats you at this game, you should just not even go to college. Did uh, I ever use these before? Why would I use chopsticks? You were in Vietnam, sir. So. I use my fingers. Yeah. Here comes our man. Right, here we go, boys. Yeah. Hey, sir, how you doing today? Hey, how you doing? Good. 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 All right, now we're going. Hey! Hey! Wow. All right, watch out. Go your hand. Wow. See how fast that guy's hand is? Can you imagine him with a throwing star? I was pretty surprised that Sa had never been to this hibachi restaurant. Watch out for your hat. Oh, watch out, boy. Here we go. Oh, oh, hey. This is a paradise for rednecks. All right, here we go. That's a smiley face. Little happy face, all right. Here we go. Oh, hey. 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 Oh. Watch the beard. Hey. Take the beard. All right, all right, boy. Just look at Gawain. He can hardly contain himself. Hey. Hey. Do it again. And there's a lot to contain. Hey. Hey. Oh, that's oh, that's there. My hat. Oh! <laughs> All right. Hey, where'd you get that neat hat? Because yeah. I said, I got a set. For a shell? Yeah. Look, that's the next time my bucket left, boys. I've just added it to it. I want to be a hibachi chef and get one of them hats like that. You want to be chef today? Yeah, I want to be a chef. Right. No, 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 no. No, yeah, hey. Hey, look, I admit it, I'm not a chef. But hey, this hibachi thing, it's a little different. I need a hat. All right, get yeah, oh, you. It's a little different. Hey, do you have insurance here? You need my knife, bro. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 yeah. no, 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 no,
Now I got your attention. We might ought to make our bucket list right now. Look, you gotta keep the guests on their toes. Razzle and dazzle them, boys. Uh oh. Whoa! Hey, okay. Yeah, all right. Get the shells out. No, we ain't. Rough it, boys. Rough it. They could care less what you're gonna feed them, as long as they're entertained. Uh, hey, here we go. Hey. Whoa! All right. Look, uh, boy, perfect. Uh, that's not rare. That's raw. You ready, Jay? That's hey, raw. Hold up. Hey. There you go, buddy. And if they don't like the food, too bad, OK? They got to eat it anyway. It's the polite thing to do. All right, boy, check. That one's done. What's next on the list? Astronaut. Eh, uh, what's after that? Well, bull riding, I guess. Let's do that. Yep. Bull riding. So I know the perfect place for you to ride a bull. Boy, high schools have a smell, don't they? Okay, do you remember any of this stuff? Oh, man, cheerleading stuff. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Dad, we need to check in. Go Bearcats! Go Bearcats! <laughs> That's not like a Bearcat with a bad cold. Bearcats! <laughs> I never knew looking for my lost high school diploma would bring back so many fun memories. Go, team. Go, go, go! I remember I always loved hanging out in the hallway. See, I can't really do anything without my pom-poms. Just causing a ruckus with other kids. Oh, for the birthday. Hey, you're gonna get us in trouble. I wanna go look where my locker was, okay? Until we got in trouble for making too much noise. You used to just bang. This well, is the, it. It's the perfect height for you. Excuse me. Can I help you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we were. She I graduated. To, she I said she graduated here. from here. I graduated from here. Well, we're glad to have former Bearcats, but all visitors have to check in with the principal in the office. John Luke? Yeah, I, I told, told you. you. Told no, you I told him. He, I told him. We told him. I these thought high he got it kids. done, but he I did. can't read. I didn't have my glasses with me. Hey. Have you ever ridden a mechanical bull? No. You're welcome. Hey, Si, you better be careful. Even them fake ones will hurt you now. Yeah. What are you talking about? Hey, I'll jump on top of that sucker like that, grab hold. Hiya, hiya. I'll probably even just go ahead and keep my tea with me. Some of the items on Si's bucket list are just plain out dangerous. Run! Go ahead, Don, give me. Is that the best you got? You want to ride the bull? Do I want to ride that bull? Well, of course I want to ride that bull. I'm all for Cy completing his bucket list. I just don't want him to kick the bucket. Step right up, sir. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So what we're really trying to do here is protect Cy from Cy. Oh! No. <laughs> oh. All right, boys. Here went to hill. There you go. Come, on, come here, you big sucker. Turn the thing on. Kick it up to the level. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Is this in slow motion? Hey, ride or die. All right, turn this puppy off. That's it. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> fine ride, sir. Fine ride. Good job, sir. All right. Well, you rode the bull and lived to tell about it. Next thing, astronaut, boys. We got something else for you. Yeah, we now, do. Get your tea and let's get out of here. Ricky Dirt, principal here. How you doing, Al Rogers? Good, nice how you doing? You. Hey, Ricky, how, how you doing? doing? Nice Good. to see you. Good. You know, we don't actually have the diploma here, but uh, we've Did got the Did somebody steal it? Well, if the diploma exists, we'll put it into the state for it, and they'll send it to you in the mail. Hey, Robertson, C, C, I, C. C. That is not. Why, why did I get in trouble for making C's? English, F, speech, F. I may not have had the best grades in high school, but it's because I was busy doing other things. C, 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 C. It's like a Spanish dictionary. What about American history? History, F, 
thought I did better than that. Like getting married and having a baby. You had one A in home economics. Of course. Well, that makes perfect sense. Plus, if truth be told, I didn't like studying very much. We found something that might be a little interesting. This is a yearbook from back in 1966. Uh, it's got a picture and name there. Oh, my there. goodness. Mar oh, look, everybody else has all their stuff. Honor roll, letter award, baseball, Marsha K. Robertson. Blank space. <laughs> Just <laughs> it's too whatever, I, I, whatever you can think I of. Showed up. <laughs> Well, look at it. There it is. I just don't Are you know. going to say you're sorry? Are you going to say you so were wrong? Clear. This is uh, kind of hazy. I'm, I'm in a say. book with a cap and gown. What's hazy about that? We do take these uh, graduation pictures usually well before the end of the year, so. Bing, bing, bing. I did graduate. I'm Mom, we're sorry. proud of you for all you've accomplished without a high school degree. Stop it, Willie. What do you think? I ain't going up in that. It was hey. on your bucket list. What I was thinking about was a few balloons tied to old rickety chair. It's a basket. Tied to a big balloon. It looks like a big snow cone. What's the worst thing that could happen? I could die. Look, boys, I didn't have dying on my bucket list. Do I it, dare you to do it. I tell you what, don't ever dare me. All right, boys. Hey, look, I would rather die doing something dangerous than live my whole life as a chicken. Know this, if I die, I will come back and haunt you. Plus, I will make one heck of a scary ghost. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm telling you. All right, boys, I'm fixing to go where no man has gone before. Up! Bon voyage. <laughs> now, I'll admit it. I thought Cy si was overreacting when he started talking about all this bucket list stuff. Oh, this is cool, boy. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> but hearing his screams of joy as this balloon lifted him in the air, it's made it all worth it. Oh, we going up, 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 and away! We did a good thing for the old man. The only problem is, there are a lot more things on this bucket list to do. Check. Oh, no! My bucket list! Let's go. Good riddance. Problem solved. I'm the king of the world, boys! Uh-oh. Y'all are looking like ants. Except for you, Goblin. It's hard to believe the time has come for my son to graduate from high school. John Luke Robertson. It has been the most wonderful privilege to watch John Luke grow up over the last 18 years. Class of 2015, you may switch your tassels. And I'm just so proud of the man he's become. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2015. And even though it's hard letting your baby go, it's a little easier knowing the bright future that he's got ahead of him. Before we go, I had something special I wanted to do right here. Me and John Luke got together and Al and, uh, we found a little hidden treasure for Miss Kay. Ooh. Ooh. Since the whole family is here for John Luke's graduation tonight, I decided this would be the perfect time to give my mom a little surprise. All right, yeah, you're gonna need this, Mom, for yep. this. This? You can put oh, yeah. this on. <gasps> I never wore one of these. Now, I don't usually like to admit when I'm wrong, but after making a few calls to the Board of Education, I'm happy to say I was wrong. This is the moment in time we've been waiting over 50 something years <laughs> for this to happen. <laughs> the state of Louisiana grants a high school diploma after a long wait to Marsha K. Caraway Robertson. Congratulations, Miss K. And I stand corrected. We do have a diploma. Oh, I've got chills thinking about this. Some people didn't take my word. I had to live through that doubt. <laughs> people, I mean, they all but called me a liar. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying who it was. 
but he's close, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Willie, <laughs> John Luke, I'm so proud of you. And now I'm proud of me, see, because I finally got this. And that's all that matters. I can't wait to show it to Bobo. Throw your hat. Throw your hat. Throw it. OK, here it comes. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. That's it. Only one final point. America never, I mean, never give up on a dream. Uh, Don't give up. Uh, Don't give up, America. I'm here. I'm so proud of John Luke, but I'm more proud of me. All right, let's bow. Father, we believe you created the cosmos. We believe you created us. We are grateful, and I pray in the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. It's unfortunate, but life doesn't always turn out the way you hope it would. It takes courage to make your dreams come true. That's why it's important to take the goals of your loved ones seriously. Whether it means giving your mother the benefit of the doubt, cheering your son on as he graduates high school, or even helping your crazy uncle check some items off his bucket list. When your loved ones decide to pursue their dreams, the best thing you can give them is your support. Even if that means listening to your uncle go on and on about his bucket list. Hey, I got something else for the bucket list, guys. Is it doing the dishes? No, it's parachuting into a volcano. I've done dishes before. I'm so proud of John Luke, but I'm more proud of me. All right, let's bow. Father, we believe you created the cosmos. We believe you created us. We are grateful, and I pray in the name of Jesus, amen. 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 All right, boy, let's dig in. It's unfortunate, but life doesn't always turn out the way you hope it would. It takes courage to make your dreams come true. That's why it's important to take the goals of your loved ones seriously. Whether it means giving your mother the benefit of the doubt, cheering your son on as he graduates high school, or even helping your crazy uncle check some items off his bucket list. When your loved ones decide to pursue their dreams, the best thing you can give them is your support. Even if that means listening to your uncle go on and on about his bucket list. Hey, I got something else for the bucket list, guys. Is it doing the dishes? No, it's parachuting into a volcano. I've done dishes before. <laughs>